Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another summer tutorial, this time for these sunny flowers. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button because in this way you will be informed when I make new tutorials matching the ones that I have already done and here I started a bracelet that I will show you in my some of my upcoming tutorials that is why it's a good idea to hit the bell and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is and down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where by the way you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook and instagram pages and you could also check my second channel with the fast clips and now guys without further ado we're going to start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads i'm using yellow dark red which is also a metallic and an orange and here i use two Eto beads in yellow color. I'm also using earring findings and jump rings. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that I use to attach my earring findings to my work. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to start by picking up 12 of these beautiful seed beads, the dark red ones. Okay, and I have this and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread and now I'm going to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made pulling and I will also make one more knot just like this and then I'm going in this direction Okay, now I will start adding my next row and for my next row what I need are two orange beads, one dark red bead and two orange beads and as I'm exiting here through this seed bead I'm going back in circle through the same bead. And then I'm going through the next two. Okay, now you see where I am. I'm here. And what I need to add now, guys, are two orange beads, one red and two orange beads. Okay, I have them here. I'm going back through this one and if you can go in the next two in one movement just to save time. If it's easier for you just go around this one and then through the next two. But you could do it in one movement like I'm showing here. Okay, then again I will repeat what I did before. Two orange, one red, two orange. Go back through this one and through the following two. In this way you reposition your thread where you will start your next loop of beads. Okay guys, and now I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and you know you worked correctly if you have six of these beautiful elements around the central circle 
and if you have here space of one seed bit uh, between the first one that you started from and the last one okay if something's not right go back and do this again okay now i want to exit through this orange bead and what i want to do is flip my work it's not obligatory but i prefer to go in this direction as i'm right-handed and that is why i'm doing this okay now what i need to take are five of these beautiful yellow beads okay i need five and as I'm exiting here through this orange, I'm skipping the one that's in the center sticking out, the dark red one. And I'm going here through the next orange. If it gets loose, just pull it tight. Okay, pull it tight. Now I have this. You see where I'm exiting out of this first orange after i added the yellows i'm exiting out of the first orange and i'm pulling again then i need one red bead and i'm going between those two orange beads that are at one side of my element or petal you could call it you could call it already petal and now here I will do the same thing. I'm taking five yellows. Okay, five. Skip the one at the top and go here. Now here is what I have. Now I'm taking just one dark red and go in the second orange that is here between the two orange beads that are from one side of my petal you see where I'm going and I'm going to pull now I have this oops I went too far I need to be before this top red bead I went too far by accident and now I'm going to take five okay I have my five skip the one at the top and go through this orange now I have this and I will take one red and go between this and this orange between them okay and now guys I'm going to continue this until the end if it's too fast for you just rewind and watch the first part where I'm adding those beads here and repeat it Okay guys and now what I want to do is cut this tail thread because it is on my way all the time and now I will start my next row and for my next row I'm exiting here what I want to take are three yellow beads okay three as I'm exiting here, you see out of this bead here, I'm skipping uh, the top and I'm going through the next bead. Okay, now I have this. You see where I am between this and this yellow seed bead 
and I'm going to take three dark red beads and I will go here between this one and this one you see here or you could remember it after the first yellow that is closer to the center okay now I have three skip the one at the top and go here now as I'm here three go between this and this one or through the one that is next to this one that's sticking out the most and take three yellows I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end if you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video, see these first three steps and repeat them from here. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and here I am where I need to add my last three beads. And as I'm exiting here one yellow bead away from the orange, I will go here next to the one yellow away from the orange. Don't make the mistake to go through this upper one. Okay, sometimes at the last step, people go through this one. Now, the next row is really easy, guys. I'm just going to add three dark red beads everywhere. You see, as I'm exiting here from the first dark red bead, I'm going to take three dark reds and I'm skipping the one in the center and going through the one after that. Now you see what I have here. Then I'm going here through all of the yellows. And my goal is to exit through the first dark red. Okay. Now I'm exiting out of the first dark red bead here, this one. And I need three dark reds. Skip the one in the center and go through the next dark red here. And I also went through the yellow after that. Okay, you see what I have. Then I will go through all of those yellows. I'm aiming for the first dark red. And I need three dark red beads. Skip the one in the center and go through the following. Okay, and I will continue adding here, here, and here the same way. If you forgot, rewind the video and repeat it. See you in a while. Okay, and here I am at my last step. Where I'm adding my last three beads. And what I want to do is exit through this yellow that's sticking out the most of my petal. And I'm going to take three orange beads. And as I'm exiting through this one, I'm going through the next red. And this row, guys, is really pleasant and really easy. Because you just take three and connect the beads that are sticking out the most. The yellows and the dark reds. Okay, I'm showing you one more time. 
and I will let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay, continue and meet me. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I add these last three orange beads and what I want to do next is go through this first orange of my tree you see then I'm going to add a yellow a red and a yellow skip the one that's in the center and go through the following orange okay this is what I have now I also went through the red and my goal is to exit out of the next orange and what I need next is a yellow a red and a yellow and I skip this one as I'm exiting from the first orange I'm skipping the one that's in the center and I'm going through the next orange and you could also go through the yellow and through the next orange just to save time then again a yellow an orange and a yellow exit from the first orange skipping the second orange going through the third orange and exit out of the following again orange okay i will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end okay now i will continue and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am at my last step where i'm adding the yellow red yellow i'm going like this now i'm exiting out of the orange and what i want to do is exit out of the yellow here and i'm going to take three yellows and this will be my last row okay I'm skipping the one here and I'm going here through this yellow again skipping the middle one that is sticking out the most in this case and I'm taking a red and as I'm exiting from this yellow here I want to go through the other yellow through this yellow see and you see how this bead pops up from this side and this will be the front part of my earring where my beads pop up here is a comparison with the back okay you see now what I want to do is take three skip the one at the center and go through the yellow then take one red go through the following yellow take three skip the central one go only through the yellow when you pull this bit pops up from this side one red go here Okay, and I will continue these guys until the end and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last flower and how I'm doing it. Now it's time to use the Ato beads, which are the, the larger size beads. Okay, and I'm taking a seed bead 
a NATO and a seed bead and why I do this because through the holes of the smaller beads I can't attach my jump ring and my earring finding. That is why here only at my last step I'm adding this larger bead. You could attach your earring finding with seed beads as well, whatever you want. But now I'm doing it in this way. Okay, and because uh, here will be my earring finding, I want to make an additional reinforcement. Or you could go even twice through those beads. Okay. Now, in my next step, I'm going through the following seed bead and here what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. First, I make a loop, then I go once and I go second time through this loop I make and I pull. And then I go through the following seed bead and I could repeat this knot several more times. When I'm ready, I'm going through the following seed bead and I'm cutting my thread. Now guys, I'm going to take my jump ring and my pliers. And I'm going to open up my jump ring. I'm going here inside this bead and I'm putting my earring finding and I close. Okay, and now my sunny flower seed bead summer earrings are ready. Okay guys, and now my summer flower seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button because in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and I already started a bracelet that is matching these earrings and uh, I will post the tutorial soon, so maybe that is why it's a good idea to hit the bell. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is and how happy you make me only with this action. And if you want, you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook or Instagram pages also posted below. Down there you could check full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my other social networks and also a link to my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.